Welcome back to Mushroom Combat. Yeah. Let's continue where we left off. In the forest. Yeah. We're gonna be freaking Mario creepy mushroom guy. Oh hey, it's uh the uh pigs from um what's them called? Angry Birds. And I'm kinda guessing that spooky face guys are original content. If it's looking spooky, it's generally something the creator made. It's certainly their aesthetic. I want to note the music in this game is pretty sweet. It it could use some more tracks, but uh, it's really good. And it's made um, the intro credits didn't really make it clear who did what. Uh, Chitoya Hotel is apparently who did the music. Yeah, the music is pretty sweet. And short, apparently, if it's already looping. But, uh... But it's sort of a shame we're back to pretty much the same gameplay as the very first area. I, was, I figured we would keep adding more and more different types of enemies and whoa. Well, this certainly looks messed up. It's, uh, Rabbids! I knew those looked familiar. And I don't know what the red guys are. But again, that may not be a reference. They sure do look freaky, though. The rabbits look su are surprisingly fitting for this. But they're always pretty freaky looking. Bonk. Yeah, I was kind of... hoping they would keep it up with the different types of guys, but it looks like they're sort of going back to... You know, we've got more jumpy enemies than before, so it's not completely the same as the first, you know, level, but... They're pretty much back to the basics yet again. Ow. Oh, I should probably stop losing lives. I do not know what happens if you get a game over, so... It'll be interesting. I kind of doubt it makes me go back all the way to the beginning or anything. And it's more Angry Birds and, uh... Oh, it's the Moth Dudes from, uh... Epic Battle Fantasy. The birds look sort of weird with their, like... Jowl feathers. Or, you know, whatever you would call that. I'm gonna call them Jowl Feathers. I simply don't remember them having Jowl Feathers. Yeah, the, the uh, moths work quite a bit like uh, how no legs worked in the first world, so not too many original enemies yet yeah, this round. They're actually like less intimidating than no legs because they uh, don't shoot out the two stars like no legs did. That was the cat on the star, if you don't remember. The first map. Also, if you notice, I think you lose your combo if you don't hit anything within a certain period of time, even if you don't take a hit. I haven't been entirely watching my score that closely. Oh, what are you? That looks like something I should know. At least they're acting a bit differently. Whoa, what the hell is that? Looks vaguely like Gish, but I know it's not. It's some sort of freaky thing. Oh well. Those woolly mammoth looking things. Like, I don't know. They look familiar. I just don't know what they would be. Oh, I do get more lives. Huh. That shows how much attention I actually pay to the heads up display in the game. But generally speaking, yeah, I shouldn't need to too much. Though, I must say, the uh, the score thing, it's pretty distant from where the action is occurring, so taking a quick glance at that, you know, it takes a surprising amount of attention away from the actual battlefield.
It would be nice if... It's just a cosmetic thing, but if the enemies didn't all splat green, like, it might make it a little... more colorful and less everything is the same. Boss time! It's... What the hell is that? Is that Bob the Angry Flower or something? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a creepy flower thing. I know that much, but... Got a really messed up face. I would think, like, the face looks vaguely like a sunflower, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be a sunflower from, um... What's it called? Um, Plants vs. Zombies. It doesn't look like it, so... Let's go and see what those things were. Now that I know what the archive is. Yep, I knew that guy wasn't a reference. Oh, that's something from Bullet Heaven. I do not remember that dude at all. There's Bird from Angry Birds. Butterfly, Bullet Heaven. He's only apparently played Bullet Heaven and not the reps of the Epic Battle Fantasies. And yeah, that wasn't a reference. That's something from Castle Crashers, which I've never played, so... Ah, that would explain why I've never seen that either. We sort of got an interesting mix of references and, uh, original characters. Wait a minute. Who is our new character? How do I switch there? Yeah, I thought that looked like Dad and me. I don't know exactly who that character is, though. Bridge, level one. Yeah! It's, a. Uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, it's bloopers! Blooper! Yay. These look like Dr. Seuss things. I don't know what these are, the little blue guys. They go squish good. I do like that the bloopers are coming out of the water and not on the land. That is a nice touch. And I do like that there are bloopers, because bloopers are awesome. King Calamari, anyone? But it seems like a, the first stage seems to get less, is a lot less crowded than the later stages, so it makes it kind of harder to get lots of points in a progressive faction. I think. I mean, I haven't been watching the actual amount of points that I get. Also, someone's number system apparently uses decimals instead of commas. Just notice that. It's fairly common, though. Hmm. Well, periods, not decimals. I don't know exactly. Ah, I didn't lose any lives. Awesome. Level two, yeah. It's the hell are those? I do not know what those are. Those is. The little cute jellyfish things look also familiar. They look like something that might be from Epic Battle Fantasy stuff, but I can't... The jellies don't look like that, do they? The jellyfish? Uh, they remind me of those bush enemies, but they didn't have bushes of that color. They've got the googly eyes, just like those. Right, those aren't googly eyes, are they? Just sort of beady eyes. But this level is decidedly less creepy than the other levels, I must know. It's all purdy and sea-like and cute. But they don't all have to look the same. I would be interested to see what the heck that angry... It looks kind of like the walnut. Like an angry version of the walnut in Plants vs. Zombies, but... It's not quite. What the heck is that? Got angry, weird... ...ish looking guys. Depending on the... Like, I don't know how many of these are references, but I'm not getting as many of the references if there are any in this level. I do like that we're seeing more projectiles, though. Except that when they shoot straight up, 
and you don't know when they're gonna shoot, you know, that can make dodging it difficult, or, like, impossible. But, since it's not like a one-hit-kill game, it's not that big of an issue. So, the game isn't that hard, either. The 20 lives, or 10 lives, like, really, if you cut me down to 5, at least for all the levels I've had so far, um, I might have died, but it wouldn't have been impossible, but... Now, 10 seems excessive. 5 might be... 5 would be a little... tricky. But I don't know. Maybe if we're getting into super hard mode, 10 might be more necessary, since I am down 5. But previously, 10 has always seemed very excessive. Level 4, yeah! And again, I must admit, if I got a game over in this, I'd um, probably quit at some point. Spike ball thingies. Those are always fun. Elephant dudes! I guess maybe those are a reference to the green elephant cube thingy. The, s the fish definitely remind me of Epic Battle Fantasy or maybe Bullet Heaven, but I'm not... I don't remember 100% what they are. Then again, if I guessed a random enemy in this game was Epic Battle Fantasy, then I'd, you know, I'd have a 25% chance of being right about. Point. Point. I just really thought maybe the elephant was like a reference to the elephant in uh, the Armor Games guys. Elephant games, you know, like um, achievement unlocked, but it doesn't look like the elephant at all. It's just hopeful thinking. Like, oh, my multiplier! Right in the multiplier. Anyway, are there are five worlds to this. I could, I could finish five, but it's it is getting kind of repetitive as expected. Level five. Yeah, I could definitely do one more world. That jump's friggin' weird. Who's the new enemy this time? It's a horrible crab thing. I guess that's like a tentacle thingy from Epic Battle Fantasy, right? Yeah, there's was those Cyclopean tentacle monster thingies. I do like that even though they have invincibility frames, you can still bounce on them, so... You don't have to completely avoid them. But I guess it could add a bit more challenge to it if it did. But... You know, make your game too hard and I'll just not play it. Especially for Let's Play lately. Complete Zone 4. We get freakish looking Sonic with creepy mouth. Oops. I meant to go see that bestiary. Oh. That is the game over screen, apparently. We hadn't seen that before. Let's see what we got. Dew from Bullet Heaven, apparently. Looper. Swimmer! Tortoise. Tossed it. Oh, that's why that face looks familiar. He doesn't look like a turtle at all in that scene. I have no idea what that is. Vampire from Dracula. Yep, I knew that was a cube green elephant thing. Uh, Prickle. And Beholder. Oh, so he does know what Epic Battle Fantasy is. He's just referencing the most latest game. Alrighty. Let's go be Creepy Sonic, shall we? Creepy Sonic. Oh, there's like four more characters. Oh, there's two more worlds. Eh. It's not hard, so I suppose we'll just finish the whole dang game. That is one weird looking Sonic. This is more of what I'd expect from this game. Sort of zombies and skeleton dudes. They were back to... This is pretty much exactly how the last level started. Except we've got skeletons instead of bloopers and zombies instead of dew drops. But, oh well. I guess it 
It does make sense to start with a breather level. It'd just be nice if the enemies were a bit different each time. And not just visually. Music's so sweet, though. Honestly, not much to say about it, though, fortunately. It would be nice if the enemies get different splat patterns, you know? Like if bones fell out when you crushed the skeletons and stuff like that. Also, aren't I supposed to be eating mushrooms? Like, do I eat mushrooms with my feet? Am I sort of some sort of weird foot eater? I don't I don't understand the questionable plot of this game. Not, not that I suppose it's important. It's little Goomba ghost thingies. Oh, I would have figured he'd use booze for the ghosts. Oh well. Those look familiar. The little purple things. We've had a much worse accuracy for guessing which... for the references lately. Stupid happy ghosts. I can't think of what that purple thing would be, but it looks very familiar. Hmm. Oh well. We're back to the single enemy shooting a single upward bolt, so... Levels follow a very predictable pattern, honestly. And I'm assuming that next level we'll start to see the flying enemy that shoots the downward shot. So we've pretty much had one of those, and we've pretty much had the same pattern. Oh, I got a game over somehow. I should start paying attention, I suppose. It's ridiculous, paying attention in a video game. Who does that? Honestly. Most of it's harder to dodge these little ghost thingies, because you can't freaking kill them half the time. So these are an interesting improvement, or, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, not introduction. Interesting new element thingy, yes. It's gonna be kind of annoying when you're starting to jump up there. But yeah, they add a bit more of a challenge than has usually been in this game. Ow. They don't like if you... It seems like if you hit only a certain part of their head, you fall through them and take damage instead of killing them. At least when they're invisible. But, oh well. We're about through with this level. Yeah, I guess I can see why you have so many lives now. I guess it does make sense that it's hard to die in the first few areas. Boink. Boink. Oh. It does make it hard to keep up your multiplier when you're dealing with these guys, though. Especially when they stay invisible for so long and they go invisible so quickly. But I guess I don't really care about my score anyway. I wonder if there's actually any sort of ending stuff. See, I knew it. Flying enemy. Downward shots. I told you. Not sure what those are referenced to either. And the pumpkins could be referenced to a billion D things. Or maybe they're just pumpkins. I suppose things can just be pumpkins, can't they? Those bats look so much like they have to be a ref they have to be a reference to something, right? But I don't know. They also have the sort of just general spooky aesthetic as this guy's normal enemy, so maybe not. I don't know. You know all of the the, zomb the dead stuff is just so fairly generic and shows up in so much stuff, it would be hard to pin it down to any reference. And generally, these more generic enemies haven't been references to anything. Like Gish. I don't think you'd call Gish generic. So when you see a random ball of tar, generally speaking, it's going to be Gish. Not sure of many other famous tar balls. Well, lots of famous Linux tar balls, but not. What? I didn't even see me get hit. 
The game over is a bit disorienting. You don't really... S there's no effect in-game aside from, like, you blinking invisible. Which is just the default hit thing. So it's kind of sudden. It's also a bit awkward to dodge the shots. Like, it never quite sure when I do get hit. Like, you know, that wasn't very obvious that I got hit. Even though I went straight through something, there's no sound or anything and no reaction, no visible reaction aside from the blinkiness. And those pumpkins, I find them very annoying. So, you, know, you never know when they're gonna freaking fire, so just jumping on them, you can just take damage. So you decide to jump on mushrooms, which is pretty much the entirety of this game. You're punishing me for doing so. I'm just gonna stay up here in the air where it's safe. Kind of. Ow. Ow. They have pretty short invincibility frames, but oh well. We're gonna make it this time, so I don't care. Stupid ghosts are a pain in the butt to kill. I'm really not sure why the skeletons are acting like the bloopers. It's like, why would they be mostly underground? I mean, they're skeletons, but... Doesn't make quite as much sense as the fish being underwater. Level 4. Yeah. Does the timer... Is the timer 1 minute 30 for every single map? Oh, hey, it's Meat Boy! Hey, buddy. Oh. Creepy spider dude. Hey, buddy. Super Meat Boy! I have to kill you. He's used to dying, so it's cool. He's used to dying several hundred times in a single level. dying several hundred times in a single level. With so much flying stuff, it's hard to hit the lower enemies. You're sort of making it too cluttered at the top. I do like the higher flying enemies, but if you're going to have more flying enemies, you need to have less enemies at the bottom. Or, I don't know. It's just hard to get back up once you fall down without taking more hits. Which is not, not cool. But really, it's not that hard, but I'm just not looking for a difficult time right now. What? I was totally on top of that thing. Whatever. 20 seconds. We can do this. We can live for 20 seconds. Huh. I think Meat Boy jumps only when he's close to you. So that's a nice change on the mechanic, though. I think I've seen ones that did that before, but still. Adds a bit more personality to the character. No. No! You freaking lagged, you stupid thing. I call hacks. I call hacks. Whatever. Two more levels. I suppose I may as well finish this one now. Well, not in this video, but I'll finish the dang game. I've already come this far. It'd be nice if the ghosts had a shorter invisibility time, you know, that'd be nicer, because there's a very short window of being able to kill them, because, you know, only half the time they're on screen can you actually kill them. Stupid mouse. And that was, before I was complaining about less, there not being many projectiles, but at the moment they're kind of annoying. Because really dodging them, when you're low to the ground, dodging them is just random chance, which is not, not cool. And since I have to be up in the air to live in this area, it can be kind of a pain in the butt. Stop lagging. What's your deal? Oh, it should be playing on battery power. Ow. Come on. No! Five seconds. Crap, I really don't want to see the next level. But whatever. Honestly, the boss levels are usually easier. Well, not usually, but... Oh, hey, it's the clown from uh, Madness. 
Do I get hurt if I touch that? He apparently doesn't take damage when he's using that. It's so hard to damage this guy. Jeez. He's got a limited window, which I guess that's cool enough for a boss. But when there's enemies around, and I can't hit him because of that, that's kind of annoying. But, see, like that. There was, like, no way I could hit him because the enemy... If I jump on an enemy, it takes priority over him, which is not cool. But other than that, this is a pretty cool boss, I must say. I like it. I just don't like that. Yeah, see, the, it was nearly impossible for me to hit him that time. Though, there are great, significantly less ordinary enemies on this level, so... See? Like that. What? Bull crap. It was nice to include less of them, but those jumping enemies really get in the way of trying to hit him. Oh well. I guess if you take your time, it's not that bad. I'm just not good at taking my time. See, like that. That is crap. Oh well. Got him that time. What would be cool is if it was all f if it was mostly flying enemies. And... Now that would make you a bit more careful about jumping, but... They wouldn't interrupt your hitting of him. So... That's how I'd prefer to see this. I also do like that it, jumping near him when he's spinning that thing, it makes him invincible, but it doesn't hurt you. So I'm glad for that. Now I just gotta survive for two more seconds. Can we do it? Yeah! Complete five zone. Oh hey, we got a madness guy. I'll go ahead and equip that costume for next time. I guess there's what? Two more characters. There's two more areas to go. Let's peek at the archive quick. Zombie, skeleton, ghost. Yeah, they were pretty generic. Reincarnation. Yeah, I haven't played that. Pumpkin. You see, I generally know when they're... Not generic, but you know, made by the creator, not references. I think his name is Meat Boy, not Meat. But whatever. Next time we finish whatever the next world of this game is. Sky! Yeah!